A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. The response is, The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Thursday of the second week of Easter. The first reading comes from Acts of the Apostles, chapter 5, verses 27 to 33. The Sanhedrin orders that the apostles be brought forward, and they interrogate the apostles, saying, We gave you strict orders to stop preaching in that name. Peter's response, We obey God rather than men. That he has been commissioned by Jesus to proclaim the good news to the ends of the world. How could he possibly listen to an earthly authority, which is not speaking in the Spirit? These men are filled with the Holy Spirit. They have received confirmation of that when they suffered for the name. Therefore, they will continue to proclaim that name. Now this infuriates the leaders of the Jews because the apostles are disobeying them. And who are the apostles anyways? They're uneducated men. How dare they confront the leaders of the Jews? But remember, the apostles are speaking in the Spirit. Very often people who are simple, who are humble, who bow to the action of the Spirit, are more filled with God's Word than those who have studied theology for many years. The Gospel is from John 3, 31-36. It continues the idea that we've been hearing in these days that Jesus comes from above. He comes from the Father, therefore he's revealing to us who the Father is and what the Father wants of us. His testimony is trustworthy. One of the words that used for God in the Old Testament is emet, truthful. He's filled with fidelity. Therefore, we can trust in what he says. And if we accept his message, then we live in the love that the Father has for the Son. All God wants us to do is to enter into this relationship. If we disobey, then we reject that love. So the choice is really ours. God wants to save us, but he cannot force it. And what does salvation mean? Salvation means to live in the love of Christ. Because the love of Christ is the love of the Father, and it embraces us and changes the way we live, changes the way we think, changes what we hope for. Because all we want at that point is to continue to live in that love. And may God bless us.